Hey, how y'all doing, baby? It's Friday. We made it to Friday. We made it through the whole shit storm of a week. And then we made it to Friday. It's time for a celebration. Y'all know what the shit deal is. It's Beer and Bud Friday. And, and today, I want to I wanna point out my beer. I'm, gonna, I'm fixing to enjoy a Swifty. Because, as it says right there on the can, there's always time for a Swifty, baby. There's always time for a Swifty, and I'm fixing to have that. And this was brought to me by a, a special friend of ours, uh, Jorge Tirebiter. And he, it came from the uh, scenic tire biter ranch. And, and, and I want you to know, when I opened the package, this is what I saw. There was a card there. And it says, all you'll ever get from Republicans is thoughts and prayers. We're your friends. We send you beer. And he did. He sent me a total of eight beers. Uh, I'll be drinking them over the shows, and uh, I've never had a Swifty before, so uh, cheers to you, baby. Mm. That's quite tasty, and, and uh, Jorge said it had a little bit of a kick to it, so we'll find out. Ooh, that is a little bit tasty. Anyway, that's the beer. Y'all know what comes next. Uh, I got mail also from our good friend Thomas Morgan out in California, Cardiff by the Sea, and he is just doing great out there, doing his work on his art that he loves, and uh, we're so proud that he sends it to us. These cards that I hold up are going to be sent out to our Blue Dot family members, and uh, we want to thank Thomas all the time for his artwork. And what he brings to the conversation here at our on our show. We highlighted some of his work last night on the show, and I enjoy that. He has sent me a lot of artwork by way of email, so I'm able to share it on the camera. And uh, Thomas, you're a good man, buddy. Thomas always reminds me to keep my powder dry, baby. But I also got mail. I got a letter from Vicki and Lon Feckler from Johnson City, Tennessee, baby. And, and I want you to know, I've been there, baby. I've been to your town before. And they sent a nice little note that says, uh, impeach the orange clown. Keep up the good work. They included a nice donation. We appreciate that, Vicki and Lon. Lon, it, uh, it helps keep us going, baby. It helps keep us going. So we appreciate that. We appreciate our all all our Blue Dot family members. And, uh, ooh, that is pretty good beer. Hmm. Is it the beer? It's always nice to have a taste of some place other than where you live when somebody sends you some beer. And that's good beer, baby. That's made in Blanco, Texas. And I've been there too, baby. Anyway, what's going on? Well, the biggest news is, and the, and the most important thing is, <coughs> excuse me. No, we're doing one take, baby. The most important thing today is to remind all our, our Blue Dot family members out there in Florida we have a lot of them in, in, in Port St. Lucie, down in Fort Lauderdale, all up and down the uh, uh, Florida coast over there. Uh, Stephanie Dean, Jay is over there, Jay Soaker is over there. We want all our Blue Dot family, and even those who aren't Blue Dot family members, to be extremely careful with this storm coming in. Dorian is fixing to uh, come in, I guess they say Monday sometime, and it looks like it's going to be a Category 4. Baby, that's nothing to mess with. I've been through a 4. It's rough, and uh, you need to either get the hell out of there or be very prepared. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a better deal if you just get out of there and uh, go somewhere else. Kind of messes up the Labor Day weekend, but it's better to be safe than sorry and have all the family members well accounted for than to be caught in something like this. It's really going to be devastating, so we want all our Blue Dot family members and everybody out there to stay, stay safe. 
And uh, after it's over, if you can jump on Facebook or, or on, on whatever media that you can to let others know that you're okay, we would appreciate that. Uh, I know a lot of services will be lost after the storm comes in, uh, so it's going to be difficult to do that. But uh, for all of us out there, we, we, we just want you to be safe and take care of yourself. Well, what's going on? Well, shit, like I said, it's been a hell of a week. You know, he went to G7 last weekend and, you know, really kind of screwed everything up right there walking around trying to get Pooty into uh, his position over there, you know, like his good master, you know, and, and it's just sickening. We live through that. He's, he's threatening to pull uh, military support for, from Ukraine to help uh, Pooty get along over there, uh, make things a little easier for Putin to get into Ukraine. He, uh, he wanted to buy Greenland. Uh, he wants to take away birthright citizenship for veterans serving in the military or for our, our military families in, in uh, in uh, State Department employees and whatnot from having their children American when they're born. And anyway, Donnie can, you know, stir up a little shit and let you know that he's an asshole. Mm. That's pretty good beer. Anyway, while he's doing all that, and I've always reminded you, this is the shit show that goes on every week that we have to put up with. Different little stories that come out. His personal assistant now has had to had to be uh, fired there after two years of loyal service because she whispered some shit about him. He gets his panties in a wad. Baby, you're out the door in a heartbeat. Cut your phone off, I understand. All that stuff that stays in the news, baby. But while he's doing that, the, 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 the administration itself, his little cronies, his, his, his little minions in there, they're doing their job, baby. They're, they're trying to make things tougher, a little tougher for everybody. And this now, in, in, uh, in just a few days, they're going to have a change to U visas. Now, I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't know much about a U visa. What the hell is a U visa? I've heard all sorts of M1B1 bomber type visas and all this stuff. What's a U visa? Well, a U visa is given to an immigrant in this country if that immigrant is witness to a crime or something, is is cooperating with police. He's a, he, he's a good guy. He, he saw something. He knows something. He goes to the police. He reports it. And now he's a witness in that, and he can get a U visa to stay in the United States legally under the protection because he is now witness to a crime and is assisting law enforcement. Oh, but back up, back up. This uh, allowed to stay. Is now is is now gone under the uh, Donnie the dictator uh, administration. No, you're a witness to a crime and you report it to the police. There, go ahead and do that, baby. But uh, oh, we noticed that you're an undocumented uh, migrant too. So uh, get in the bus. We're deporting your ass too immediately. That's the change, and that de that deters honest people who may be a migrant, undocumented in the country. It witnesses a crime. Now, is that person going to go to the cops now and say, hey, I, I know something bad is going to happen or something it did happen, and I know who did it? No, they can't go to the police because if they go to the police to report the crime, they're going to get arrested. That's the difference. Before, we would honor somebody who would step up and do the right thing, cooperate with law enforcement in an investigation to stop wrongdoing or to prevent wrongdoing. But now, Donnie says, no, 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 no. We still want you to report the crime, baby. But don't be expecting us to let you stay in the country. Now, if you're just, if you got here illegal, you just got to go today. So, yeah. That cuts down on a lot of people that would normally assist law enforcement. They're not going to go there anymore, baby. They're not going to go because they're, they're going to be, frightened for their own safety, for their own well-being, for their family, everything they're doing lawfully and legally in this country. Like those people rounded up in Mississippi, baby. They were at work. They weren't out robbing, thieving, or anything. They weren't out raping anybody or, or, or murdering anybody. They were at work. Hired by American companies. That's not the only thing, though. Wait, wait, there's more. There's more. If you tune in today, if that's not enough, whoo, Thomas, if that's not enough to deter the migrants, 
Now we have a new expedited removal rule that goes in effect September 1. Now, the expedited removal rule, the change here, is that it used to be that if immigration caught you within 100 miles of the American border and you had been in the country less than two weeks, maybe they could put you in the truck, take you for expedited removal, we'll get you right back out of the country. You came in, oh, look here, you got here a week ago. Ah, uh, look here, we got you within 50 miles out of the country. Expedited removal. But now that's changed, baby. Expedited removal now is uh, anywhere in the United States. Ah, we catch you anywhere. It doesn't matter 100 miles or anything else. And uh, if they catch you within two years, within two years, baby, expedited removal. You done been in the country. You got a job. You got a house. You're paying taxes. All that kind of stuff that a citizen does in this country but you get caught and they expedite your removal. Today, baby, get you out, get on a plane, gone. Leaving that family behind. We saw it in Mississippi, baby, we saw it. These are the kind of things that this administration is doing behind this, or all the, the smoke screen of all the bullshit that goes on. These are the little things that digs into his racist ass and him and his Steve Miller gang and all that. These are the racist things that he does. You heard how he, how he tweeted out about Puerto Rico when, when the hurricane wasn't, wasn't quite there yet. It was still under the possibility of getting hit. And what does he do? He shows us who we are or who he is all the time. And we need to show him who we are all the time. Because this is the bullshit that he sneaks through while, while he's throwing up all these little tidbits that we all get excited about and pissed off about. It's chaos. It's what he does. It's all his, his presidency has been about, chaos. I don't think it's working too good, baby. I don't think it's working too good. Hey, uh, did y'all uh, did y'all see Donnie Jr.? There were some pictures in there. He went to a rally there for the governor of, Cal of, of Kentucky. Went to a rally to, to help out the governor of Kentucky. I didn't write down his name because I don't give a shit who he is. He's an asshole. And he's in Kentucky. And he's a Republican. That's enough reason right there to get rid of his ass. He's in there with Moscow Mitch. Buckling up, baby. I can guarantee you. But anyway, old Donnie Jr. went there and I saw the pictures in a, in a, in a, in a venue that would hold over 7,000 people. There was about 200 people that showed up. You talk about a pitiful showing for people that are so in, immensely uh, proud of their crowd size. They, it's, they think it's like their pecker. The bigger the crowd, the bigger my pecker, all that kind of stuff. It's just a bunch of bullshit. It's the same thing as daddy does. Talk about how big the crowds are and all those. And Donnie Jr. is sitting there in an empty stadium, baby, to give his little... Kentucky Governor Powell, uh, what, a boost in the, in the polls? I don't think so, baby. It ain't working. I just thought that was funny as shit. Anyway, Mama found me, because Mama usually does, my political advisor, finds me that one little story sometimes, and she goes, did you hear about this guy? And I go look at it, and I say, are you shitting me? Yep, ah, we got us one of them. So sit back, enjoy, take a little sip of beer, because this is really good. It seems, since we're talking about Kentucky anyway, you know how that, you know, Republicans is. Anyway, this story is about Kentucky too. It's about a guy named Philip Wilson. He's 54 years old. Philip, he lives in Kentucky. He's a principal of a school there. Uh-oh, I don't have the school name. He's a, oh, okay. He's a principal in Kentucky who came to fame in 2009 for banning books with homosexual content in high schools. Any book that had any kind of gay reference out of the schools, get it out of there. This is, this is God's country. We ain't going to have none of that homosexual stuff in our high schools. And he just fought like hell to get rid of it. That was in 2009, baby. It made big news, I guess, because that's what his claim to fame is. Well, now he has another claim to fame because Tuesday he was arrested, baby. He was arrested. What was he arrested for? Chasing homosexuals down the street with a pitchfork? No, it wasn't that, baby. 
Mm -mm. Banning any books that had any kind of sex. Nope, that wasn't it. He got arrested on charges of possession and distribution of child pornography. That's right, the good principal. There you go, Philip Wilson got arrested for distributing kitty porn. And, uh, he, 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 oh, I'm sorry, in Westchester, Kentucky, Mama did. Westchester, Kentucky troopers arrested him after a criminal complaint of, of somebody made of seeing him give child pornography to another person. So this person seen, seen uh, uh, Philip over here give his buddy here, I look, here's some porn here. It's some kitty porn. You'll enjoy this. And, and somebody saw that and did the right thing and went to the police and turned him in. He said he had 15 images of child porn on his device and he was charged with 15 counts of possession and distribution of child pornography. Sometimes, just like these shooters, like this guy, it, it, it's not some evil being that, that Donnie manifests out of, out of immigrants that are the people that you have to worry about, baby. No. In this case, it's a high school teacher. In others, it's, it, it, it's, it's, uh, oh, I had a brain fart there. It's, uh, it, it's marauding Mexicans coming from the border. It's MS-13 gang members. It's Muslims. It's anything except where the real danger is, and that's in our own backyard, baby. That's in our own neighborhoods affecting our kids. We fix this, baby. And it starts in your community and my community. If you see something, say something, baby. That's the way it all works. They're going to they're gonna really uh, make it difficult for, for migrants who are trying to do uh, the right thing and work and have a job if they see a crime to report it because of who they are, because they're afraid of their own safety. It's ridiculous, baby. This is a community we have all across this country. We're all one, baby. E pluribus unum. I love that. E pluribus unum. I love it. All of us, baby. That's what's important. And we have to keep working for that. It's Friday, baby. It's Labor Day weekend. So I hope you enjoy yourself. Those over on the East Coast, baby, take care of yourself. This storm is nothing to mess with. We're worried about you. And, uh, and, and you all need to take care of yourself. Like I said, make sure you get in touch with somebody as soon as you can after the storm. So we'll all know that, uh, that you're okay and, uh, you know, but we won't expect it too soon. It's going to hunker down, baby. That's what it needs to be done. Anyway, we want to thank all our Patreon members and those that send the beer and the artwork and uh, in other letters of support. We appreciate it so much. Uh, it's what keeps us going. It's what pays the bill. So we really appreciate it. And, uh, like, share, subscribe. John Bertabo, Blue Dot in Texas on YouTube. John Bertabo on Facebook. John Bertabo Speaks, Blue Dot Family. Go by there and see the family get involved. Again, let me remind everybody, I'm not mailing anybody or sending anybody a private message. So if you're getting a private message from me requesting any kind of information or, or a donation of any sort, that is not me. It's a fake account, so please be aware of that. Our YouTube family, baby, we miss you all the time. We missed you last night on the, on the live show. And we're going to miss you again on Sunday when we go live for our next Blue Dot family meeting. Uh, but, but you're in our hearts, and we think about you all all the time. So uh, hang tight, baby. October will be here soon, I hope. And uh, we'll be able to go back on the air. But uh, in the meantime, y'all take care. Have a good weekend. And y'all see you later. Bye-bye.